So this is one of the things that really annoys me about the LG C9 paired up with the LG soundbar, which is the SL10 YG. Um, my son's been playing PlayStation on this earlier on. Both the PlayStation 4 Pro as well as the Apple TV 4K are going through the soundbar and then the soundbar is going into the HDMI port on the LG C9. The reason I do that is for better pass-through of audio. Now, when these are connected directly to the TV, depending on which device you turn on, the TV will automatically switch to the relevant HDMI port. However, when they're connected through the soundbar, for some reason, whenever you switch on any device, be it the PlayStation, the Apple TV, or the TV itself, it will then also boot up the PlayStation. Now, I'm not sure why it does this, whether this is just a bug or whether it's just a configuration problem, but it can be really annoying when you're booting it up and before, and it is quite fast, so, when you turn it on, it will load up quite fast. And obviously the Apple TV, one of the reasons I like it so much is because of the speed of it. However, it's annoying when you have to turn the PlayStation off every time before you can then start to use it. So what I'll do is just here, I've got the Apple TV remote and I'll just press the TV button or the home button on it. And you'll see just down there at the bottom, the Apple TV is turned on. HDMI is on HDMI 1 and the TV is turned on. And now what you'll notice is the PlayStation has also just turned on. So that will now boot up and because it was last on that, in a few seconds, there you go. It's automatically switched to the PlayStation instead of the Apple TV. Now, it's not the end of the world. You can simply ignore the PlayStation and it'll go into standby mode, or you can just switch to it and turn it off. Now, one good thing about it is this is the TV remote, and I can actually control the PlayStation directly from this. So I can literally just click into it. Go to power. Let me just look. And then turn off the PlayStation that way. And now if I hit the TV button on the remote again, it will switch to the Apple TV. And you can see the light just down there, just right at the bottom. And there, finally, it's now switched back to the Apple TV. It's, like I say, it's not the end of the world, but it's just annoying that you have to do that before switching on when both of these devices are LG devices, they should be able to talk to each other properly and you shouldn't need to go through that extra step. If it was connected directly to the TV, then I don't believe the PlayStation would turn on if I was to switch the Apple TV on and vice versa. Um, obviously on this particular video, um, it needed a reboot on the Apple TV because I've not actually used it for a couple of days. So the standby might not have worked correctly but ordinarily, because I'm using it every day, um, as soon as you t you press the home button, it'll, it'll boot up more or less instantly. Anyway, that was the short video that I wanted to make about one of the things that annoys me on this TV. Obviously, there's a lot more that I like about the TV than I dislike. Um, there is another video coming up with regards to the soundbar and the TV compatibility but I'll, I'll release that shortly. I forgot to say at the end of the video, please comment, like, and subscribe.